In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between normal subVI execution and reentrant subVI execution. Suppose that you have three VIs that all call the same subVI. All of the top level VIs begin executing. The first top level VI calls the subVI, and the subVI begins executing on behalf of that top level VI. When the second top level VI tries to call the subVI, it has to wait. In general, a normal subVI will only run on behalf of one caller at a time. Now let's look at pre-allocated reentrant VIs, which was the only kind of reentrant VIs available before LabVIEW 8.5. When the top-level VIs begin executing, we allocate what we call reentrant clones. These clones are copies of the essential parts of a VI needed for execution. Because a clone is pre-allocated for each unique caller, it is available to run as soon as the top-level VI calls it. Now let's look at a new kind of reentrancy introduced in LabVIEW 8.5. This type of reentrancy is called shared reentrant clones. When each top level VI makes a call to the reentrant sub VI, LabVIEW checks to see if there is a reentrant clone available to run on behalf of that caller. If a clone is available, it begins executing for that caller. If all the currently created clones are already running on behalf of other callers, then LabVIEW will create more clones. Note that because you do not know which reentrant clone will run on behalf of a given caller for a given call, you cannot store state information in the reentrant clone. By state information, I mean data that you want to persist between calls, such as an uninitialized shift register. Shared reentrant clones will generally use less memory than preallocated clones, because LabVIEW should only need to allocate enough clones for however many sub-VIs need to run concurrently. However, there is some overhead to creating more clones, so the execution time for shared reentrant clones may be slightly slower than preallocated clones. But most importantly, shared reentrant clones cannot be used if you need to maintain state information between calls. Thank you for watching this video. 